Okay, usapang heavyweight tayo ha. Anthony Joshua, ha? dinurog itong si Kubrat Pulev in round number 9. At uh, sabihin ko sa inyo kung anong nakita ko, anong reaction ko. At uh, pwede na kayo Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. Papalag ba yung uh, Tyson Fury or yung Anthony Joshua? At uh, kung sino ba yung mananalo, sasabihin ko sa inyo kung anong tingin ko dito. Okay? Subscribe, hit that notification bell para wala ka namiminti sa aking mga komentaryo. Una-una, Congratulations kay Anthony Joshua. Expected naman na manalo siya dito. Um, there are good things, there are bad things. Uh, overall, it was uh, para sa akin, okay naman yung performance. Good performance. Especially yung uppercut talagang. Uh, I'm very impressed with uh, how many times he have landed that uppercut. Round number three. Um, dito sumugod talaga itong si Anthony Joshua. At talagang hindi niya pinahinga itong si Kubrat Pulib na nakita ko dito na ako. Siguro tapos na itong laro na ito, tapos na itong laban na ito, uh, round number 3 or round number 4. Uh, because talagang, uh, ano niya, pinemper niya ng suntok eh, sunod-sunod eh. At napatalikod pa ito. Dalawang beses po bumaksak itong si Kubrat Pulev sa round. Well, hindi dalawang beses. Yung una, standing 8 count, tumalikod kasi siya. For some reason, hindi ko alam. Uh, matagal na mga boksingero, dapat hindi ito matalikod sa laban. Siguro lumuhod na lang hindi niya kaya. Pero tumalikod siya. Binilangan siya ng referee. Kinabahan nga ako, kala ko ihinto na eh. So binilangan siya. Sa pangalawang beses, sa same round, sa third round, ha? Eh, yun na yung tunay na baksak. At uh, mukhang parang naubos siya doon. Um, naubos siya sa ng stamina or something. Basta natamaan siya. So I thought, round 4, tapos na. Hindi ko alam kung napanood yung laban. Kala ko round 4, nako tatapos na ito. This is where I, I saw a little bit of hesitation or... Siguro ingat or in other words baka you know natatakot na siyang mga maisahan, ma-counter Kubrat Pulev kahit ba 39 years old yan or fading na siya. Eh pwede pa rin makachamba yan. Alam naman natin nakakita tayo ng mga heavyweight, yung mga kamay niyan, grabe, di ba? Pag makatama sa iyo. Subukan mo magpasuntok, <laughs> Mike Tyson kunwari. So siguro merong merong may mali sa utak ng Anthony Joshua. Hindi mali ah. Siguro may may worry sa, uh, sa, sa mind niya that uh, he might get countered. So it has to be systematic. If you want to look at it positively, he, he, he has learned a lot. He has, uh, you know, he's, he's careful and he systematically and patiently beat down Kubrat Pulev. But the killer instinct, um, like, it's going up and down eh. So we, we don't know exactly what's going through the mind of Anthony Joshua eh. There are opportunities na he could have finished uh, itong si Pule pero hindi niya ginawa. Tapos meron din siya mga instances yung uh, natatamaan siya, eh, no? Yun yung afraid ako eh. Sabi ko, nako, eh, pag natatamaan siya ng ganun, siguro hindi, na kag- hindi kasing lakas yung suntok na tumama sa kanya. Pero alam naman natin na pwede siyang ma-knockdown kasi nagawa na sa kanya na knockout siya. Eh. So, that is kind of the things that he need to work out if uh, he's going to be fighting uh, Tyson Fury uh, 2021. Um, anyway, the fight ended uh, on in, in round number nine. It was really the uppercut that set it up. I really love the uppercut. Uh, uppercut. Uh, masterful talaga. Ilang beses tumatama yung uppercut na yun kahit anong salag nitong ni Puleb ay eh, talagang sapul eh. Kasi eh, ganyan yung kamay niya eh. Hindi naman hindi hinaharangan sa baba. So galing sa baba yung suntok. At saka hukay talaga eh. Talagang dinudukot niya ng malalim yung uppercut niya. So, talagang pag tumama, yun. So, yun yung nagsimula ng lahat. But uh, he finished it off after that first knockdown, round number 9, um, with the straight punch. Straight na simula. Right straight po yan na simula. Na tumama dito sa panga niya, which is talaga hindi na siya nakabangon. At uh, binilangan na siya. Bulagtat po talaga itong si... Uh, Kubrat Pulev at uh, you know nagugustuhan ko na talaga ulit manood ng heavyweight now personally in the Philippines we don't have heavyweights we have middleweights now but uh, hopefully we get some heavyweights in the future but uh, tapos nun knockdown uh, sabi ni uh, Anthony Joshua he was impressed uh, I think he nagustuhan niya yung performance niya uh, there's again there's good and bad things so after that ito na usapang uh, Undisputed. Undisputed. <laughs> Kasi po, ano, uh, nasa kanya yung apat na belt actually nasa kanya. Pero yung isa IBO. 
Uh, yung isang belt na wala sa kanya ay eh, yung na kay uh, Tyson Fury po. Which is, uh, that's why he is not called the, kumbaga hindi siya pa siya undisputed, unified pa lang. Kasi sa undisputed, para lang po sa mga tao ng hindi po alam mas, uh, pa, is you have to get the four major title, which is yung WBC po, eh, hawak po ni uh, Tyson Fury. So, nagbanatan na kagad sila, sabi, two to three rounds lang daw. Itong si, uh, si Anthony Joshua, sabi ni Tyson Fury, sabi naman ni, uh, ni na Bob, Bob Arum, let's go. Negotiation, Eddie Hearn, let's go. It's the stage is set. So, I'm very excited for this one. Hopefully, this happened in the first quarter. In the late first quarter, it's good. What would happen in this fight? <clears throat> this is what I think. Based on what I saw, it's gonna be a good fight, but uh, I think Tyson Fury uh, is still the the favored fighter in this match. Actually, um, I don't know. I, I'm trying to see uh, how Anthony Joshua would win in this fight. I just could not find, as of right now, any scenario that would uh, favor Anthony Joshua. That really depends on how Anthony Joshua fight. But if he fights the same way as he fight Kubrat Pulev, which is really, from what I see, it's uh, like he was undecided on what he wants to do and he was careful. Um, I think he needs to push it with Anthony Josh with uh, Tyson Fury. Because Tyson Fury, for me, again, and pwede kayong uh, sumalungat, is a far more better uh, boxer than Anthony Joshua. Although, we can all argue in that. And uh, again, itong uh, Tyson Fury is 6'9". And I think uh, Joshua is 6'6". Six, six. Let, me, let me just check this one real quick. Kung, uh, kung ano ba? ang uh, height nito ni Anthony uh, Joshua. 6'6 yata eh. Yeah, 6'6 nga. 6'6. So, lahat favored kay, ano eh, kay uh, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury can just go forward and use his weight and he can box. And if he box, we know that I think uh, para sa akin po, uh, Tyson Fury is the uh, the most skilled heavyweight boxer right now. Sabi ko nga kung nagkatapat uh, sila ni ni Muhammad Ali or ni Tyson, uh, Mike Tyson, eh, uh, I think baka manalo itong uh, Tyson Fury. Sa akin pong palagay, ah, sa, inyo, ano, sa tingin nyo. Anyway, um, hopefully this happen itong Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. Ang uh, gusto ko lang malaman po sa inyo, eh, ano sa tingin nyo yung mangyayari and uh, How impressed are you with the performance of uh, Anthony Joshua against Kubrat Pulev? Uh, again, we know na pababa na itong Kubrat Pulev, so everyone is expecting a win. Uh, were, were you disappointed ba with, uh, with the performance? And, uh, oh yeah, before that, um, sab- ano ko lang, curious lang ako ah. Should uh, Anthony jo- Joshua, kasi ito na nga, they wanna go straight. Itong si Tyson Fury, Sino kaya yung A-side dito sa dalawang ito? Para sa inyo, sino yung A-side? I'm just curious to find out para sa mga fans po. Dito sa Pilipinas, kasi tatlo o apat na belt ang hawak nito ni Anthony Joshua. But I think Tyson Fury is uh, more popular nation or not nationwide, uh, internationally. I just felt like, uh, so pero nasa kanya yung belt eh. So sino yung A-side? There has to be an A-side. Or 50-50 talaga. Ano sa tingin nyo? Again, ang hawak po ni Anthony Joshua is um, a WBA, IBF, WBO, at saka yung IBO, tapos WBC, itong uh, kay uh, Tyson Fury. So based on that, doon sa mas maraming belt yung A-side. Pero I think uh, mas malakas maghakot itong sa Tyson Fury kasi Tyson Fury... Sabi nga ni Ante Joshua, it's let, yung uh, kamao niya na yung magsasalita. Pero si Tyson Fury, hindi lang kamao yung nagsasalita. As in, uh, pati siya nagsasalita. And, it's, and he has to have, uh, uh, he will be credited for a lot of shows on this on this fight if it happens. So answer that, your prediction, who's the A-side, and how do you feel about the performance of uh, Tyson Fury against Kubrat Pulev? Ako po si Paul Salud ng Paco Sports. Ito po ang aking komentaryo. 
Kung nagustuhan mo at gusto mo akong kausap lagi, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. You can also join in uh, if you're wondering where I'm watching. I'm watching on The Zone and uh, Fight TV. I'm subscribed there. Salamat po. Powercast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.